Putin bad news. After Kyiv makes gains in Bakhmut, Putin's forces attack towns in the east. Gains made by Ukrainian forces in bloodstained Bakhmut have prompted a wave of attacks from Vladimir Putin's forces in retaliation. Hanna Malir, Ukraine's deputy defense minister, said that in the past week, Ukrainian forces retook control of nearly two square miles around the destroyed eastern city of Bakhmut. She reported that Russian forces were regrouping near the eastern towns of Kupiansk and Lyman, but that the attack was continuing regardless. The Russians have ramped up their offensives, she said, after the Ukrainian army's success on the Bakhmut axis. The armed forces are facing complete mining of the territory, cement fortifications of the key heights, and constant mortar and artillery shelling, she continued. What's more, the Russians make heavy use of aviation. The deputy defense minister reported that fighting had broken out between the two sides in the nearby settlement of Urajaini as well. On Sunday, a Moscow-appointed official in Russian-occupied territory in Ukraine's Zaporizhia region claimed that Kyiv was trying to break through Russian lines by establishing control over the two towns. Gains made by Ukrainian forces in bloodstained Bakhmut have prompted a wave of attacks from Vladimir Putin's forces in retaliation. Hanna Malir, Ukraine's deputy defense minister, said that in the past week, Ukrainian forces retook control of nearly two square miles around the destroyed eastern city of Bakhmut. She reported that Russian forces were regrouping near the eastern towns of Kupiansk and Lyman, but that the attack was continuing regardless. The Russians have ramped up their offensives, she said, after the Ukrainian army's success on the Bakhmut axis. The armed forces are facing complete mining of the territory, cement fortifications of the key heights, and constant mortar and artillery shelling, she continued. What's more, the Russians make heavy use of aviation. According to the head of Russia's largest shipbuilder, hypersonic Zircon missiles are currently being installed on Russia's new nuclear submarines. Multi-purpose nuclear submarines of the Yasin M project will be equipped with the Zircon missile system on a regular basis, Alexei Rachmanov, CEO of the United Shipbuilding Corporation, USC, told RIA. We're making progress in that direction right now. Designed to replace Soviet-era nuclear attack submarines, the Yasin-class submarines, or Project 885M, are nuclear-powered cruise missile submarines. It is difficult to defend against the Zircon hypersonic missiles, which can be launched from ships and have a range of 900 kilometers, 560 miles. As relations between Russia and Moldova worsened on Monday, 22 Russian diplomats left the Moldovan capital of Chisinau. The reduction of the Russian embassy's staff from 80 to 25 will, according to Moldovan officials, bring it to the same level as the Moldovan embassy in Moscow. Russian aggression toward Ukraine has had a ripple effect on the former Soviet state of Moldova, whose pro-European president, Maya Sandu, has condemned the invasion and accused Russia of attempting to destabilize her country. Video of two buses being escorted by police from the Russian embassy and driven to the airport was broadcast by Moldovan media. Reuters was told by a reliable source at the Chisinau airport that the plane carrying the embassy personnel had already taken off for the Russian city of Sochi. Along with the diplomats, 23 members of the technical support staff and their families were asked to leave. Poland's security services announced that they had arrested two Russian citizens on suspicion of promoting the interests of the Wagner mercenary group in Russia. The internal security agency, ABW, claimed the men were spreading recruitment leaflets for the mercenaries throughout Warsaw and Krakow on behalf of the Russian secret services. The agency claims that Alexei T. and Andrei G., who have only been given initials, were promised payment of around $5,000, £3,940, for their services. They were detained on Friday on suspicion of collaborating with a foreign intelligence service and belonging to a terrorist organization. They could spend up to 10 years in prison if found guilty. Poland has arrested 22 people in recent months on suspicion of spying for Russia or Russia's ally, Belarus. 
This is part of what Warsaw calls a hybrid war on Poland because of Poland's support for Ukraine in the war against Russia's aggression.